uh, specific programs that they will acquire specific skill sets. And these skill sets are normally being written out as the program learning outcome statements. So the first question we will be asking is this, what do we want our students to be able to do? Then we will define the skill sets. Uh, what are the assessment tools that we can use in order to, to verify that the students have acquired the skill sets? So you begin with the skill sets and then you start talking about, you start thinking about the assessment, how best to measure the, 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 uh, the skill sets, having in mind that the skill sets can be uh, categorized into the cognitive, psychomotor and affective domains. And following that, once you know what you are going to assess the students, then you start designing your learning activities and bringing in the appropriate content. So basically, uh, you're talking about knowing the skill sets, knowing how to assess them, and bringing in the uh, instructional methods and also the contents. And finally, you need to have what we call the performance criteria in order to grade the students, you know, the weak, the above average, the good and the excellent students. So the first one is, um, what do you want the students to have or able to do? Uh, that means that you have a plan in terms of what going to be achieved by the students in your class. And uh, in other words, you need to plan and uh, in terms of the activities, the contents, as well as uh, the uh, amount of uh, time spent with the student. Okay. How will you know that they have achieved it? Uh, in other words, um, you need to do some reflection in terms of assessment. It can be in terms of the uh, you conduct a test, you conduct uh, um, either summative or formative assessment. So, and uh, finally, the third principle, the basic principle of OBE, basically, how do you close the loop? In term, in, in other words, that you need to intervene in terms of um, how do you improve the learning experience by your own students. So it is similar to the plan, do, check and act. So you plan what your student want to have and then you uh, the, uh, do, you implement, you conduct your class, classes through uh, student standard learning and then you uh, check, you assess them whether they have already achieved it and then you um, act upon it, and meaning that you, 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 you take action uh, whether the student has already achieved or not and you try to improve uh, the delivery. OBE has something to do with professionalism, something to do with uh, accountability, something to do with the responsibility. That uh, OBE um, helps you to become a lot more professional about the work that you do uh, allows you to become more responsible about the work that you do as, as a teacher, as an academic manager, as a curriculum developer, as a person who works on assessments.